is going on, pals? They're flying. Ahem. Hmm. Man. Mm hmm. Woo! All right, we're excited. What is going on, guys? They're flying. Two K episode bringing us another. My team player review here today for you guys. We've done some amazing players. We've done Hakeem, Julius Irving, Wilt Chamberlain, Lou Hudson, all kinds of amazing players. Um, <clears throat> you guys really enjoyed the Lou Hudson video. I feel like because you know not a whole lot of people know about him. Um, as much, so I wanted to do some players, um, especially today, do a player that no one, not, not a whole lot of people know about too much, but I wanted to give you guys some info about him, as you can tell by the video, you already know who the player is, we're gonna go, go ahead and go to my collection, go to manage team, and we're gonna go ahead and go to this player here, as you can see, he's my, my backup power forward, this man is Horace Grant, and some of you may, may not know too much about Horace Grant, he played alongside some of the greatest players in the NBA, especially for the Bulls, he played with, obviously, MJ, the best player ever, um, you play with Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, some really great players, and I feel like he wasn't really looked on as an amazing player just because he was kind of overshadowed by MJ and Scottie and those other guys, but he was really a great player in his time. He later played for the Magic, I believe. He might have played for them before. I think he played for them after. But um, he was only pro for about six years, which is kind of surprising. I thought he was really good in my opinion, but I guess 2K decided to only make him an 84 overall. I think he should be around an 87, maybe an 89, but um, maybe an 87, not an 89. I'm going to say an 87 or an 86 is, is a solid overall for him. However, we're going to go ahead and get into some attributes for him. This guy has a secret that I'm, I can't wait to tell you guys, and once we get there, I'm going to make sure and tell you guys so you can use him for this reason. Okay, so his shot close is only a 77, a little bit lower than position average. Shot medium a 78, that's actually pretty high uh, for that. Shot three point, obviously we're not going to use him for any three pointers. Uh, the free throw is a little bit lacking, so is the dunk. The standing layup, however, is a 91. Um, you know, just these normal layup stats, not, not really a whole lot. His low post offense is a 79, and he actually has a really good pass. We're going to get to the pass here in just a minute once we get to the main part of why I'm reviewing him. Um, the low post defense is an 83. That's way higher than the average. Um, not, well, not really super high. But his block is only a 70, which I think should be higher. Um, I mean, he's not bad at blocking, but I feel like it should be around an 80 to an 85. I'm always getting blocks with him off the bench, and he's a really good blocker along with other things. Um, his steal is a 65. His offensive rebound is a 99. And his defensive rebound is only a 72. Um, his offensive rebound is so good. I will put him in literally just to get those rebounds and push him back out because obviously he doesn't have a super good shot close. He can get those, like I said, with the pass, he can get those rebounds and pass it back out to get second chance opportunities. And he's really good at it. Like, I don't know if, uh, if you guys have him. I would recommend trying to get him if you already don't, but um, I feel like the Bulls um, Horace Grant is a little bit better than the Magic Horace Grant, but anyway, that doesn't you know, mean a whole lot, but <clears throat> um, the defensive rebound is only a 72. I really think this should be a 90. Um, in my opinion, he literally gets the most rebounds on my team, and you know, I have Akeem Olajuwon, Wilt Chamberlain, you know, Dikembe Mutombo, all kinds of really good rebounders on my team. Um, even Kevin Love on my team, and he out-rebounds them all off the bench. Like, that's insane. Um, his offensive rebound is probably the best in the game, I want to say, which is kind of surprising. But I really, I really think he has one of the best rebounds in the game. His defensive rebound, for some reason, is only a 72. I'm not really sure why, but I know it should be higher. At least, I want to say an 85, but I'm going to say a, around an 87 to a 90. Um, I feel like that's his actual stat, so we're going to buff that up a little bit. Um, in my opinion, I feel like it should be buffed. And he's like literally the best rebounder. Um, I want to say maybe almost in this game, but definitely on my team um, in general, he's my best rebounder. Um, so use him for that. Use him for that. He's really good at it. So if you have him, make sure to put him. If you don't already have a good power forward, put him in that you know that uh, starting power forward. But if you already have a good one, put him in the backup and use him for rebounds and getting second chance opportunities. Um, next, his stamina is actually an 85. That's not too bad. Just, uh, also, the durab durability. Durability um, is an 83. Offensive defense awareness is around an 80 and an 82. Um, pretty good strength, not too bad. A vertical um, shoot off dribble is only a 59. Um, I mean, that's you know, normal. Um, not really too different of stats. His hands are an 87, that's pretty good. He can catch those, uh, you know, his hands obviously for rebounding and getting those passes. He's really good at that. Uh, not too bad. Offensive deep uh, on ball defense, I should say. Um, and post fadeaway and post hook both at a 75. Um, I would use Horace Grant, like I said, for rebounding and rebounding only. I mean, he's not really a good player to, you know, 
focus run for scoring unless you absolutely have to use him for that. Um, like I said, he's I think he's one of the best rebounders that, rebounders in the game. I want to say top three, if not the top. Um, so I would use him if I was you. So so yeah, I mean Horace Grant was a great player from Clemson, drafted pick ten out of in the first round. He's only an eighty four. I think he should have been higher than that. But he's an absolute amazing player. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, that has been Horace Grant. I have been Airflying Suki Ups. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for all the support. I will see you guys later and in the next video, the next My Team Player Review. Make sure to click all the links down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!